Hey guys, it's Babel from the Bengali Cook. How are you guys? How you doing? Hope everyone's well. Guys, this week I have got a fantastic recipe for you and it has been requested. And um, yes, I'm, so I'm doing this one. I have got other um, requests I need to do, so I'll, I'll crack on with them now. Um, obviously this week I had a bit of a saga with the um, pan. So I've gone back to like, the old pan. So that's great. And the other one I had to bin it. But I've also got a new pan. Check it out. This is, I love this one, it's aesthetically a lot better. It looks nice and so forth. I'm going to try and do some dishes using that dish. One other dish, the, the saucepan. Uh, but yeah, having said that, guys, I am going to be cooking chicken tikka, um, sorry, chicken chat puri, uh, which is going to be with the tikka, chicken tikka. So chicken tikka chat puri. Um, and yeah, so what I've got here, so I'm going to cook it fresh. Because I'm making the puri, you need a tiny bit of base gravy. Um, and due to that, I've not cooked any base gravy for this week's video. Um, so I'm just going to be using the uh, bit of water and make the sauce as we go. So what you would need, uh, I've done some pre-prep, so we're not using a lot of time on this one. So this is um, chapati dough. So I've got some chapati flour and I've made that into a dough. So I'm going to use that for my puri. I've got one onion, finely chopped with about 140 grams. I've got some cucumber, some tomatoes that I'm going to be using later on. And again, I'm just going to go with the um, tomato paste, ginger, garlic. And the start on this one's guys, it's going to be the shan, what's it gone? There it is, chat masala. That, that's what we're going to be using. Let's put that back in there. And the other thing that I've pre-cooked is on the air fryer. So I've got some chicken tikka that I've just cooked. The chicken tikka was, has been marinated about 48 hours it is. Roughly about, about 48 hours. Um, and I'm going to make the puri in, in this pan as well. So yeah, so let's get ready. Let's crack on. So today's video is going to be chicken tikka chat puri. Um, it's one of the starters you get in the Indian restaurants. So I'll be cooking that now. And what I'll do actually, I'll just move some of these across on this side. As with everything, guys, you are going to get the ingredients um, listed in the description box. So hit that box below, check it all out. Um, and of course, guys, uh, many thanks for the little treats that you've been giving me. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, as well as the support, please continue to support the channel. Share, like, comment, all of that sort of stuff, guys, which should be absolutely amazing. Oh, another thing we'll need, we'll need our... Might be all right, mix the IR mix curry powder, and I might use some chili, chili sauce, um, chili powder to go with it as well. I'm going to be making two portions of it. There we go. Let's just get that turned on. There we go. Does that look a bit better? Yeah, that does indeed. Right, so let's crack on with it. So yeah, so how are you guys been? Uh, yeah, try. Thank you so much as well, guys, for the tips on the how to get the lid off the saucepan tried all of it guys tried to heat up the pan massively that didn't work as well as to put water water in there as well uh that didn't work either unfortunately so it's gone in the bin so i've got the, i'm going to go back to using the old one for now until i get a replacement i might get the same one again uh, but i have got this one so i'm going to try and make some curries on this on this using this pan it's a nice pan Hopefully that will work well. But there we go. Um, so it's chicken chat puri coming your way. So let's make the chicken chat first of all. So crack on get the got a timer on. Oil. So good. That's about three to four tablespoons of oil. I'll leave that here actually because I'm going to use that in a bit to go here. Again, I'll try and do this unedited. Hopefully it won't, it won't take too long. But when I'm making the chapatis and that, guys, I will probably just um, edit those bits out, just so you do. I'm also, actually, I've not shown, on this video, I've not shown how to make the chapati dough. I have I have made a video a while ago on how to make the chapati dough and how to make the chapati and so forth. So what I'm going to do is put a link of that video um, in the description box. Um, so this video isn't, like, super, super lengthy. Uh, but, yeah, do, go ahead and check that one out. And then that'll be absolutely fine. 
So again, as we're cooking at home, guys, if there's any additional spices you want to use, by all means, use. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna quickly try and find some. Perfect. So yeah, so what we're gonna start off doing is, I say perfect, don't think there's any more. So we're going to put a good pinch or two of cumin seeds in there. Okay, there we go. Cumin seeds will just give it a nice little flavour when you sort of bite into it as well. Right, I'm going to get the heat slightly back up. Just going to wait for this just to, there we go, sizzle a bit. Get closer for you. So I've probably got a bit more oil than I anticipated, but it's okay because we can already just um, remove them at the end. So, what's your favourite starter then, guys? At the Indian restaurants, um, chicken chat for it is is a good one. It is nice. So let's crack on. There we go. Right, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to add the onion in first of all because I don't want the ginger and garlic to splash everywhere. Good teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. So I added the onion first of all just to calm the, the oil down a bit because it would be a bit too hot and I didn't, I didn't want the ginger garlic just to like it to go all over the place. Then I've got more cleaning to do, which is always a good idea. Well, it's a good idea to clean but not make the mess right. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to go with a, literally like a pinch of salt, I'd say a pinch, there you go. Again, you add salt to your taste, so the only thing I need salt on is just for the onions, uh, because our chicken teak has got salt, the chat masala, that also has got salt in it as well, so it's pretty cool, we don't need too much of it. What we're looking to do now, guys, is caramelise the onion. So the recipe that I'm showing you here, the chicken chat puri recipe. Now, if you want to use other um, proteins, so I don't know, like um, any, like you can use veg, you can use chana, you can use uh, chickpeas, and um, you can basically you can replace the chicken with anything else that you want to. You can also put lamb in there if you want to, the pre cooked lamb, things like that, you can add it in there. So this is how we make it. We, the only difference is I won't be using the base gravy on this one, so I'm cooking it from scratch. If you have got some base gravy um, at home, you can use that, absolutely by all means. So whenever I add water in, you would just add the base grain there. So 
I'm using thighs, so these are chicken thighs that I'm using for the chicken tikka pieces. I do find that the thighs do taste better. Here is our knife. Let's use this one. Wait. Let's see if that's over here. So it's all going down now. But at this point, I'm going to add our tomato paste. So again, we can cook it from scratch. I haven't got much time. So well, there you go, good. Leave that here, actually. So one and a half. Turn it in. to add a tiny bit of hot water to your head. Absolutely delicious. I have got the recipe in my um, in, in my book, in my barbecue book, but I've also put the recipe in the description box as well, guys. So you can check that out, and you can make the chicken tikka. You can make the chicken tikka using the recipe. If you have bought the book, book guys, thank you so much. Um, if you did like, if you did like the recipes, guys, uh, please do leave a, a five star review. That'd be absolutely amazing. Because that would help the the algorithm for Amazon. So again, just roughly, roughly chop the pieces into bite sizes. There we go. That's looking great. I'm just going to reposition the camera. Now the camera's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do now, guys, is crack on and add our spices. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of, that's that teaspoon, and a half of my mixed powder. So this is the Indian restaurant mixed powder. Again, if you haven't got that, you can use the shop bought one, but I do recommend you use the spice um, the spice mix of mine. Um, I'll put a, I've done a video of it, so I'll put that in the description box. You can see that it's beginning to catch on the pan. So what you do at this point is add some base gravy in there. Now optional, if you want to add any chili powder, you can do. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of chili powder there we go. Literally like a quarter, quarter teaspoon or less. Because I have got some green chili that I'll be using So what we're going to do now, guys, is get this spice cooked well. A couple of minutes or so should do. And make the base space settled. So we're making the chat base, now chat pudding base basically, so the curry base if you want to call it. But as we're doing that, I am going to munch on the chicken tikka. Mm. 
Absolutely delicious, guys. Right, so what we'll do now is add in some of our um, nuts stuff all the time. Let this cook now. Cook down. And this is the sort of base of our chicken shack guys. It's fairly straightforward to make. So I am going to add a tiny bit more water because I'm going to need a bit of time to make the chad puri and so forth. So I don't want it to dry, dry out too much when I'm doing that. this point if you want to add any green chilies you can do so that's what I'm doing so I've got about three to four green chilies um, cut in here so I'm just going to add this now and then I'm also going to add so just before we take it off I'm going to add a good teaspoon of Sean's chat masala as well as the 140 grams I've got, the 140 grams of cucumber and a couple of tomatoes. Well, actually, that's one tomato. Get all of this mixed in. Just a tiny bit more water in there. chicken chat done guys. Now that smells top notch. Well right, so let's move this one. Here we go. Keep it nice and clean this one. So what I'm gonna do now here guys I'm just gonna pause the video and then come back. So I'm gonna put some oil in here and I'm gonna sort of roll out roll roll these out and um, then we'll continue I'll come and show you how to make the puri and then we'll just plate it up and we eat. Right, let's pause this one for a second. So it's been 15 minutes, we've been on the video, taking us about 15 minutes to make the chicken chat from scratch. And now I'm just gonna make the puri. So I'm gonna pause it now and come back in, well, as soon as I've rolled these out. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So this is the second part of the video. So let's put this one back on. There you go, we were 15 minutes last time. And I've got the oil, I've got my sort of puri here, all 
rolled out. So try and make it thin as, as you can, which will be absolutely fine. So how do we know the oil is hot enough? So let's just take, let's just take some currently. Just a tiny piece, chuck it in there. What you want, what is it you want? You ideally want to deep fry this guy, it's not shallow fry, but I have got enough oil in here. Hopefully that should work, but normally you would deep fry it. I don't want to waste a lot of oil because I don't have any other plans to make or deep fry anything. Actually, I might do actually, but, um, but for now, that's all I've got. So yes, it seems all right. So let's give it another minute or so maybe. Let's just see. going to use the pudding so yeah so if you are enjoying this video guys don't forget to hit that like subscribe button if you haven't um, give it a thumbs up comment let us know what you think um share it with your friends family facebook all of your social videos share it on there all right i'm going to give it a go guys i think it should be high enough so just gently just put it down yeah this is good Can you see it? Yes, you can. Give me some for that. Just gonna turn it over. Well, we're gonna look at that nice and crispy. That's what you want. It doesn't take too long to make the pudding. So you're going for like a thin. Don't make your uh, when you do when you roll it out. Don't make it too thick, guys. What we're gonna do now is just get this out. I'm just gonna leave it here for a second. And get this one, get this one in. Again, gently, just put it in there. Again. Oh, God, you know what? I forgot to put the timer back on, guys. Sorry. But as you see, it's like, this part's not been edited, just follow it. It doesn't take that long, as long as the oil is warm enough. done so you want it to be nice and crispy but not too crispy you also want it to be slightly soft as well not too crunchy but you do want a bit of a crunching on that as well well right, literally that's it done oh well whoops gentle right so it's not taking us that long probably less than a minute just to fry them each so right going to do as well just in case just want to see if there's any excess so again so place it up how how you want it so i'm going to go with this put this one up here let's just try and organize this right so i'm just going to place it up normally as we normally would do okay, fantastic so that's how I put it in there. You can see it, guys. Look at it. Okay, lovely. So I've got two portions here. So this is my chat. So there you go. You see, it's quite. There you go. That'll be, that'll be a good. So now here we go. So the magic of if you want to add any other salad dressing, guys, feel free to add the salad dressing. I'm just going to add a bit of coriander here. So at the restaurants, what you will get, you will get that folded up. You probably get like a smaller, a lot smaller portion in all fairness. And you get all the salads and all of that in here. But I've got it here for you, so check it out. So yeah, so enjoy the recipe. So a chicken chat is, chicken chat put is done. Um, add all the different types of garnish that you want, guys, any other sauces and so forth, and enjoy. Um, hopefully you've liked the video. Um, don't forget to hit that like subscribe button as well as guys please continue to support the channel as you were doing and i am looking forward to uh tucking into this but yeah other than that guys if you guys have any other requests so thank you for requesting 
uh, the chat query. Um, again, like I said, guys, you can use other than chicken, you can use any, anything else that you want to, some chickpeas, some um, prawn, prawn, prawn puree you can also make as well, some vegetables, some lamb, whatever else you want to put in there, in there. but this will be the standard. The main ingredients that gives it the chat flavour is going to be this one. And again, if you want to, just like now, again, you can just, if that's okay, you can just sprinkle just a tiny bit so you get that little flavour coming out as well as when you bite it. But yeah, right, I'm going to have to leave you guys now. So I love you and I'll leave, I'll leave you now. So take care and enjoy the video and I will see you very soon on the next video. Check it out.